law of diminishing marginal utility now this is one of the very important laws in economics okay and the better part is or the interesting part is that it is a psychological law in the sense it depends on more of the psychology of the person rather than anything else okay so what does this law say earlier i gave you an example in one of the previous videos of a person who was consuming certain quantity of tea okay so let's take that example quantity of tea for those of you who haven't had a chance to go through that video i'll just take the numbers okay so what we said was that as this gentleman got up in the morning he had 3 cups of tea okay and the marginal utility let's plot down these numbers as well both the marginal utility and the total utility when he consumes zero quantity of tea has to be obviously zero right then what we said was that he consumed first cup of tea in the morning and he derived 100 units of utility from this cup of tea therefore the total utility was how much 100 which is sum total of these two when he consumed the second cup of tea he got 80 units of utility from this cup of tea so the total became 100 plus 80 180 when he consumed the third cup he got 60 units of utility so the total utility became 180 plus 60 or 240 right what the law of diminishing marginal utility says is that as the consumption of a particular commodity increase let's say from 0 to 1 how much was the movement 100 when the second consumption happened the marginal utility increase was down from 100 to 80 it fell down when the consumption increased from 2 to 3 this further came down to 60 right so what is happening is that the marginal utility in each of these cases is going down so what the law of diminishing marginal utility says is that you know with increase in consumption of a commodity marginal utility decreases isn't it true i mean let's say for example even when you go for your breakfast or for your lunch or maybe even for a sweet dish when your father gives you an ice cream okay you will have one with very passionate second okay third you will not feel like having it fourth you will say oh no i don't want this so the satisfaction as you were getting from each of one of these commodities as you were consuming it was decreasing right so with the increase in the consumption of a commodity marginal utility decreases but the interesting thing to notice that even though marginal utility is decreasing the total utility keeps on increasing so it increased from 0 to 100 100 to 180 180 to 240 so total utility increases but at a reduced rate So if you see how much did the was the increase in total utility 0 to 100 was 100 180 to 100 was 80 240 to 180 was 60 so it is increasing but at a decreasing rate right so this is what the law of diminishing marginal utility says if you just read the heading itself that will clarify this to you law of diminishing reducing marginal utility when does it diminishes it diminishes as the consumption increases you have more and more of a particular commodity 
right? If you want to go out and write a, let's say, explanation of this, it's very simple. The law of diminishing marginal utility. There's a diminishing in the marginal utility. And how does that happen? That happens when the consumer has more and more units of a particular commodity. Right? We will just see what are the assumptions underlying the law of diminishing marginal utility in the next video. Okay? Please stay connected with us. And in any case, if you like this video, please subscribe us on our channel. Okay? Visit our website www.iadbook.com for more than 1500 videos which are growing in numbers. Okay, you can also hit the like button at the bottom of this video. If you like this video, if there are any questions, please post them in the comment section. Depending on the availability of time and our schedule, we would like to answer them as early as possible. Thank you very much. With this, I'm signing off. This is Arun Jay, your tutor and educator for this video. We hope you all the success and look forward to seeing you in the next video, which is regarding what are the factors, what are the assumptions regarding the law of diminishing marginal utility.